Uh, hey guys, welcome back to Survival Bows. This is part of our how to make a snake bow build along. Uh, I believe this is part six at this point. So, um, so guys, uh, if you saw my last video, that one was about we were uh, re heat reflexing the limbs. You can see uh, this limb has just a small, very tiny reflex. It's not really noticeable, strong. Uh, same with this one on this side. I found that uh, if you look at it from this side, <clears throat> it's actually kind of false. What happens here is that this was, I think, like, because this, uh, like, the wood just kind of went in on this side, but not on this side. So I'm going with this side. And on this side, it's only a small reflex. On this side, it looks much bigger. But since it's non bending, it doesn't really matter as much. I'm going with the side, the more, the, this side, okay? Just want to let you guys know that in case you're wondering. So this video, what we're going to do is we're going to tillering. So I worked a little bit on it, and I can tell you right now that this limb has a lot more meat on it than this limb. Uh, I got, I, I did a little bit of, uh, like just a little bit of tillering so it didn't look too bad, but before it was actually a pretty big difference. Now it's a smaller difference, but it is noticeable as long as you uh, look at both limbs. You can see this limb has more than this limb. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our handy old wood rasp right here. And this is a slow process. We just carefully, you know, go down like this with the wood rasp on the flat side. We just take, a, like, you know, uh, little shavings of wood off. And we're just doing that for a good long time. And we're going to do that until from my eye it looks all right. And after that, what we're going to do, I hope we can get to this in the video, we're going to bend it back a few times a little bit and we're going to hold it in the mirror. And we're going to see how it looks then. And then we're going to do that tillering. And once we perfect it at its bending stage, so that the limbs are as equal as possible, then we're gonna be done with our tillering. So, let's begin. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna be careful. I'm keeping the string on, so that way I can always tell uh, how much the limb is bending. So let's see, this limb is obviously bending more, so I'll, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do it once, show you guys, and then I'm gonna finish tillering and then show you guys the difference, all right? So. Alright, let's see. Alright, we're getting better. Alright, so basically, I'm basically just gonna be doing that the whole time, you know, just on and off until I feel that this limb is pretty close to this limb. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back and we're gonna bend it a few times. Once we're once we think it's even at this place, we're gonna bend it some more. See what it looks like at certain like, you know, uh, pullback like you know, distances, like to pull it back. And you know, judging from that we're gonna do our final tittering. So I'll be back as soon as I do this basic tillering, all right? See you guys, be right back. Okay guys, <clears throat> sorry. Okay guys, so um, I worked on it a bit. Took me a few good minutes, but you know, you gotta be patient. And I do think, from what I can see, I got it a lot more even. You guys got that whole thing in the picture. Actually, this is a better angle. It's a lot better now, I think. So basically what I have to do now, you know, at this angle, it looks like it's even. But I still have a feeling that one side may have more than the other. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be this side. But who knows? Might have overdone it. Might be this side now. It's pretty close, I think. So the best thing for me to do now, the best way to tell anyway, is by uh, holding it up to some sort of mirror or something, pulling it back a few inches, and just seeing how the limbs are bending if they're bending pretty they're bending very evenly if they look like they're bending evenly and they're everything's all right then that's pretty good but you know more times than ever uh, uh there will be some small difference and you know a small difference counts because if you want to make this bow last a long time you want the tiller to be good you know you want the tiller to be a tiller that it's as even as you can possibly get it the heck freaking mosquitoes sorry about that these mosquitoes here sucking my blood <laughs> anyway, um, so you're not going to be able to see this, but what I'm going to do is you see that door there right now? By using that door, it actually reflects it. You won't be able to see it as well in the video, 
but I'm actually able to see very easily which side is bending more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys right over, right over here. I'm going to bend it back. You're going to see how I'm bending it back from there. I'm going to see how I'm bending it back from there. And um, I'll just pull it back and see how it is. Now this isn't perfect. You guys will probably have a better view than me. So after this video is done, if you still think the teller is a little incorrect, just leave me a comment in the comments below, you know? But this works pretty well out there. So you guys see. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the same thing over again, but just a little bit more carefully. And then you guys, and then I'll, uh, we'll see what it looks like, alright? Alright. Okay, guys. So, um, I worked on it again, like I said. And, I, and it only took a small amount. It seems to be bending pretty evenly now. And like I said, man, you just got to be patient. You know, take your time. And from what I can see, it's a lot more even now. And I, it literally only took... Maybe like 15 seconds of just like rasping at like, you know, a pretty decent rate. And it seems to be pretty good now. So I'm going to bend it back again. I just think, I think it's good there. But um, we're going to see. You guys are going to see there too. It's going to be the judge once again. And um, before, what I noticed was that I think, yeah, this limb was bending more than this limb. So I think we fixed that problem. And I'm gonna do it now, and I'll look over the footage, we'll see what we got. anything was wrong obviously I'll rasp it again and tell you guys but from what I'm noticing that's pretty good all right so I'll just be right back okay all right guys I went over the footage and from what I can tell it seems to be pretty good the tiller is I think very um pretty nice I mean I might sand it out a little later for any imperfections like bumps or anything but tiller wise I think that this bow is as good as I could get considering all the awkward little like uh, shapes in it like this and uh, that thing and that thing but from what I notice it seems that both limbs are finally bending as evenly as I can possibly get it you know so basically technically speaking the bow is done I mean like not like I'm obviously I'm not ending it here because there's still a lot more work to do you know cosmetically I gotta sand it down I might put some uh, patterns on it you know stuff like that but you know functionality you know the Bose functionality how much poundage it's gonna be pretty much ends here you know the, like I could actually shoot this right now if I wanted to I should be able to shoot it you know you know why not you know I'm gonna shoot this bow right now one shot just to see how it is because you know I might as well find out now because if the tiller's done and the bow has been dry has been uh, seasoning for about a month and something now which you know is technically I should let it season longer but it's not gonna do it at too much harm to shoot it a couple times so let's just get a good uh, feel for how it's shooting so I'll just go get some arrows we'll just put up a quick cardboard target 
and we'll see how this bow's doing. Let's uh, let's hope we can stand this test of being uh, taking a full draw. Let me tell you, scariest thing bringing a bow to full draw for the first time. You always have the feeling it's gonna break. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. So um, I got two of my uh, random target arrows. These are just target arrows, you know. Basically, what I'm doing, I actually already shot it about twice now, you know, off, off, uh, off scene, because, um, you know, just in case, I didn't want to have the uh, be all proud, you know, and, and shoot the ball, pull it back, and it somehow breaks, you know, uh, so I just did that before, and it seems to be shooting pretty good, it's a lower pounding bow, I can feel that, I'm feeling 30s, 30s, at the very most, uh, maybe in winter time, actually, would be able to low 40s, but I'm feeling this somewhere in like mid-range, like 35-ish, but that's basically what I was going for anyway, so that's good, because this is for a friend as it is, so I was going for a really high poundage, you know, so I'll just shoot this twice for you, I brought, like I said, I brought my two arrows out, and you guys should be able to see this well, I'm not shooting from a long range, just because this is the first time shooting the bow, I haven't got a feel for it, eh, oops, if you don't mind, I'll just pick that up. Sorry. You know, I just feel like, uh, I just feel like the chair out so that it would be stable and everything. So, I apologize for that. Alright. Shoot it one more time. Just to, uh, let's see. Let's see how good the accuracy is. I'm going to aim for the, around the spot where that one is. Alright. Alright, uh, I guess that wasn't bad. I mean, I wasn't really. Not that bad. Here, I'll do two more. Just because I feel like it's pretty good. You guys are probably making fun of me considering I'm only maybe 10 yards away at most. And I'm actually a pretty decent archer, so I should have been able to do a little better. Alright, one more time. I hope you guys don't mind. But, and, uh, Okay, that's gonna be annoying. Laughing at my clumsiness and failure right there. Ah, uh, sure, whatever. Alright, I guess that's not bad. Alright, so um thanks for uh, watching Survival Bows. If you didn't if you weren't able to see the arrow where the arrows hit before, I'll show you now. That's basically what I've been getting from about a ten yard distance. Yeah, ten yards, nine, ten yards. And uh, I can live with that, you know. So, um, thanks for watching Survival Bows. And uh, until next time, guys. Alright, see you. Oh, and before we exit. Next video, we're going to do sanding and finishing and all that other stuff. Alright.